welcome to this lecture in this lecture we are going to work on blog user blog and uh, uh, i want to show blog posts at home which is our main page of the website here so latest from the blog and also show uh, posts in blog section or uh, in blog page so for this download file link is given in the video description and just copy the code from home to blog one just copy and paste it into the home file here watch code from video so home file is here in learning folder so simply copy and paste the code and refresh the home page so here are the post in uh, descending order with respect to the uh, date time or with respect to the uh, id so this was the recently post and then this post and uh, our first post was this then this and after the latest post is here so almost uh, five posts are given in this section so the code is four so select all from blog order by id descending descending mean we are going to uh, retrieve in descending order the latest post should be here and then the older then older then older so descending order means we are going to select only four posts uh, uh, to show these posts here so the uh, post title here is the post title uh, and the date admin name added by and the description of the post also here um, c sharp project date admin name and the description of the post uh, so you can play the video of the uh, post or you can watch the image of the post by clicking here so simply uh, by using retrieval method my, my sql i query uh, we can retrieve the uh, post data so limit four means only we are going to select only top four posts recently added so here uh, uh, from blog table and after that if rows are available then this condition is true and if this condition is true we have data and uh, so by using for loop we can get the data uh, in associative array so by using associative array we can store values into the variables and then uh, adding uh, values into the variable uh, so we can get the result and query to select all from admin where id is equal to admin post here uh, we can join uh, the select all from blog order by id we can uh, retrieve this data by using inner join or by using inner join we can get the uh, results but here i use separate query for admin because uh, only four posts uh, posts that we can going to retrieve so in this uh, way there is a uh, little bit costly but if you want to retrieve the hundred of posts or posts over uh, 30 posts so this is not a valid for uh, that condition so by using inner join we can uh, 
minimize the cost of uh, query so no need to make a request to the server to retrieve another data so by but in this uh, video or in this section i use select all from admin where admin because i want to display the name of the uh, admin here so that's why so name of the admin how we can relate the name of the admin because admin id is here the admin id where admin id is one so added by the admin where admin id is one so if i go to the post here and one five so go to the blog and if i change the like i change this one to five and now refresh the page look at the result so and here are the results Chaudhary Nadeem the name is changed we have different name here and also Chaudhary Fahim but here is Chaudhary Nadeem because the uh, second post contains admin id 5 so here simply uh, we can check whether the post is image or video so if video by using uh, iframe we can uh, display the youtube video uh, we already discussed about this method in our previous lecture so you can watch previous lecture for this point and over we can display the image simply if the uh, our post is image so we can display the image or if our post is a video so we can display our post like the youtube method uh, the width height of the iframe and then the source youtube.com slash embedded and then the uh, video id and title youtube video player uh, these are some attributes uh, from youtube so you can just simply copy and paste these attributes so in, in blog section simply blog section for blog one just copy the code from blog one to blog two and paste it watch code from video one and then copy blog two and paste it here in the section watch code from video two now go to the blog the recently post will be here in a bigger view and all other posts are here by side by side so the post number one is here post number two and post number three is here uh, and here is the latest post so blog one means so the code one here that we copy so is that if first of all uh, consider the concept if I go from the home just uh, try to understand the concept for example I want to open this uh, post I want to open this post so what will happen where a get method is used in this way the get index is id and is equal to one it means that uh, we are going to open a post where id is equal to one this is condition number one so if get request is set it means that there is no null value and it is not empty and get request is set where I index is id so you can store it into the send id which means the post id so here check if 
post id if send id is true it means i am um, traveling from here or i can click here to go to to view a specific post so if i request by using get request one way is this simply i click on blog and in this way the most recently post will be shown here but in uh, in a specific way that i want to uh, see the third post so in this way the get request will you can see see here uh, bottom left corner so you can watch the id is to blog.php here uh, id is to so by using get request and i can view this post specifically or by uh, using simple by opening page it will show the most recently uh, post so for this if get request is made by the user so select all from blog where id is equal to send id otherwise simply select the most recently uh, post by using descending keyword in descending order and limit is 1 i am going to get only one post which is recently uh, posted by the user so in this way you can get the post and get the data uh, you know that these methods mysql i query is a method in which uh, two parameters are given and by using these two parameters mysql i query will uh, get the data from database and store it into the result and then um, count the number of rows mysql i num rows if num rows are greater than 0 then uh, go to the while loop because we have data so we can retrieve data so uh, fetch associative array will store one row by row into this uh, row and uh, from row we can uh, get values by giving uh, id column names so we can store value into variables so similarly you can get uh, the admin name for the post as we discussed earlier and after that uh, it is your task you can get by using inner join so in this way if uh, name is not available sometime if uh, by using inner join and admin is deleted if uh, you apply inner join and admin is deleted if this post is posted by choudhary nadi and he deleted uh, his account so in this case uh, if inner join is not apply we have one advantage also uh, of inner join so uh, inner join advantage is that the query co cost is low there is no need to uh, for separate request but one uh, disadvantage of inner join is that if admin is deleted then this you cannot uh, retrieve this post so it's depend on your problem Uh, if you uh, delete the user then delete uh, its post also and then apply inner join depending on the solution and the project nature so if image display image the post type and otherwise if uh, youtube uh, video then display the youtube video and after that display here title post date admin so these are the content these are the variable that we uh, fill here and uh, just display these variables according to the uh, place uh, according to the uh, attributes so simply you can display the variables in bigger section like exceptional projects so the ep stands for exceptional programmers so you can display uh, and simply the second thing is that so uh these are the most recently posts that you want to display and uh, here are the limit is 8 to so select all from blog order by id and uh, descending and limit is 8 so we are going to get eight uh, most recently posted 
posts or images or videos so you can retrieve simply uh, you know that this process and these uh, attributes and uh, in, uh, image check and if if uh, post is image then display image if post is not image then display video so it is very unique and uh, interesting feature of this basic project